Because life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. Oh, I just love that quote. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. Now, Jim Carrey is actually the ultimate goal setter, and that's what this video is all about. To teach you the techniques that Jim Carrey follows in setting goals and actually achieving them. Welcome to Purely Persistent, I'm Michelle. So the first thing we have to do here is we need to visualize our goals. That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park. Yeah, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever, making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things and they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. Now, Jim didn't actually just visualize his goals in his mind. He went there and saw the goals that he wanted to achieve. He put himself in that situation. So that's what I want you to do. Put yourself in the situation, whether in person or just in your mind, of whatever your goal is going to be. Write it down. Now you can write it down anywhere. So didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did, is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I put it in my wallet and I kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And uh... Jim Carrey wrote his down in his wallet, right? So every time he would open up his wallet, he would see his goal, right? But you can write your goal down anywhere. Write it and post it on the fridge, post it on the mirror. Just have your goal in a location that you can see every single day. The more you see this goal, the better and the more likely you are to actually achieving this goal. Set a date. And I gave myself uh, five years or three years maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated at Thanksgiving 1995. So Jim Carrey chose his date to be a couple years down the road. So he had it for Thanksgiving 1995. And by having this date, he knew that he needed to work forward and make progress in order to reach the goal by the goal date. So figure out whatever date that you have and maybe wherever you wrote your goal down, put the date on there as well to remind you that you have this date or this deadline for your goal. I actually just created a video about New Year's resolutions. And within that video, I actually go through the SMART plan of creating goals. Move in the direction toward your goals. Visualization works if you work hard. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, that's, that's that the thing. You, you can't hard. just visualize yeah. and then, you know, go eat a sandwich. <laughs> Jim Carrey's goal of making a million dollars didn't happen overnight. He had to work toward his goal. So that's what I want you to do as well. Make steps and figure out what steps you need to take today, tomorrow, next week, next month, in order to get one step closer to your goal and one step closer to your goal. Many of you know that it's my goal to become a motivational speaker. And by creating YouTube videos, I'm taking a step in the right direction toward helping me reach my goal of becoming a motivational speaker in the future. And finally, you need to believe it. You have to believe that you can achieve this goal. There might be naysayers around you saying that you can't achieve this goal, but you need to take the steps to actually achieve this goal and believe in your brain that you can do it. I learned a lot from Jim Carrey on that show, and he is absolutely correct. If you can see it and believe it, it is a lot easier to achieve it. So thank you, Jim, for reminding us of that lesson. Thank you, Oprah, for that beautiful closing. Now, you go set your goals, write them down, visualize your goals, make them happen, because you deserve to live your best life and you deserve to make a really positive impact on this world. I believe in you. Make sure that you believe in yourself too. Peace, my friends.